guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers thank you guys it means the world to me so guys how did we get here <laughs> and I don't mean like the universe like the beginning big bang and all that kind of thing and again there's been a few bangs involved in the journey now how did I get to a world record breaking jet powered go karts? Well, for me, it all started with a program called Scrap Heap Challenge. They basically take scrap and build all sorts of things. And in one of the shows, they built a jet engine out of a go kart, out of a <laughs> Turbo, <laughs> go kart, yeah. So uh, that was for me that piqued my interest. First engine, well, it wasn't brilliant, um, but I persevered. We got the afterburner to work. It later turned out the afterburner was running too hot, and I melted the, the turbine wheel of the uh, the turbo. So scratch that. bigger turbo um, built a new engine yeah put it in a go-kart we had a biscuit barrel as the uh, the oil reservoir we had a small January can as the fuel tank and it actually moved when I say moved I could have probably ran faster but at least it moved So that was the first one, like I said. Afterburner working, but melted the engine. We then moved on to the, the second engine. Uh, I can't remember what turbo it was. And uh, yeah, we put it in a go-kart. Used a biscuit barrel for the oil reservoir and a jerry can for the fuel tank. And it moved. Like I said, it moved. But you can see for yourself. So then we got access to these uh, S4 Switzer turbochargers, we refurb from a company called AET Turbos and we got access to Sons Pod Raceway which meant we could have somewhere to go and practice, somewhere to try to see how fast we can go, see if improvements worked and uh, we had some interesting times. It was, it was fun being there, it was nice to be noticed and have people watching us and uh, things did get better then came the HX turbo this is the turbo that helped build the engine that set all the world records it was two years in development but you don't need me to tell you about it let's have a look at what it did So 
that was Dan Goodwin in my cart. 92 mile an hour and a quarter. Not that fast, not compared to drag cars and things like that. But as fast as some of the family cars that cost a lot more money go up that track. So then I sold the cart to Tom Bangville and Tom, after he'd done uh, some TV work with his jet powered mobility scooter. Yeah, jet powered mobility scooter. I'll show you the video now. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go that fast in that thing. So anyway, he got invited to do a TV program for some Guinness World Record thing. We went up to Alvinden, hoped for over 100 mile an hour, but we were so pleased with what we got. Sixteen mile an hour over the measured mile. So where do we go from here? Well, there's the new engine I've built, possible of 140 mile an hour, but for me. Like I said in my last video, it's the bike. I need to get the bike sorted. It deserves to do at least 200 mile an hour. But thanks for bearing with me. I'll try and do a video next week, show you more detail of the bike, show you some of the things I need to improve. And if there's any questions you have, please message me, leave a comment below. Um, there is help out there. There's the, uh, the JTO forum where the old DIY gas turbine guys hang out and we're all happy to help free of charge no idea is a daft idea so uh, again thanks for persisting with me please like and share and all those usual things all the stuff that helps the YouTube algorithm till next week take care <laughs>